Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So, Cardi B drops Point Me To, uh, which is originally um, by Fendi, the rapper. And she is throwing shots at, you know, Nikki, JT, Akbar V. She's throwing shots at everybody. And she is saying that this is the song of the summer. So Cardi B starts off the song and said, Bieber's talking all that rah-rah. I don't feel it though. Now I feel like that's a shot at Nicki Minaj and um, Ra Ali. You know, she don't mess with Ra Ali from on site because Ra is cool with Nicki Minaj. And then she said, like the plan B didn't work, baby. I'm in this hoe. Now, Akbar V got all them kids. I believe she got five. And, you know, she has spread the rumor that Akbar V don't really take care of her kids. She don't feed her kids. Um, she be lurking on her page before she feed her kids. She spread that rumor. Okay. Um, and then she said, my name is always in their mouth. I got that juicy coochie. LV, loose vagina. She got that Louis coochie okay so she's trying to say somebody got loose coochie i feel like that's another shot at akbar v she trying to say that you know akbar v is ran through how many baby daddies akbar v got is it just one she shouts out kalani and normani she said one of my b words look like kalani one look like normani now she had to name the two irrelevant girls in r&b no shade i love normani but she's not relevant musically as neither is kalani there's Kalani's career in the toilet. Then Criminal B puts herself and off to cheat on blast. She said, me and my N were about to flip them like we tipping tiny. And I'm like, didn't tipping tiny um, had to go to court because they were allegedly arring and giving people pills and drugs to have threesomes with them. I could have sworn that happened. So they do the same thing. Well, they don't call Cardi B Cosby B for nothing. She just admitted to it. Women have come out and said that Tiny and Tip were doing certain things to them. So I think she should have left that lyric out. Then she said, I'm really eating B words up. I'm out here chewing ish. Too many B words in my city think they doing ish. I feel like that's a shot at Ice Spice and Malibu Mitch because they're all from the Bronx. Um, too many of my ops that I don't know. Bitch, like, who is this? Now, this is the shot at Nicki Minaj that we previously talked about. You know, she said they scared to face me by themselves. They start recruiting shit, okay? And a lot of people, a lot of fans believe that she recruited JT, you know, Bia, uh, Malibu Mitch, you know, Akbar V to go up against her. Um, you know, and she put them all on a queen mix for a super freaky girl. She says she called them P words to their face. They don't be doing ish. And then she also said, I'm ready with receipts. I be proven ish. B words out here must be slow. They out here losing it. I feel like that's another shot at, you know, Nicki Minaj. And like I said before, Tasha K has basically stand 10 toes down one on one going up against Criminal B and her husband. OK, she really hasn't done any pushbacks, but a lot of fans are saying that Nikki recruits female reciters and female rappers to go after Cardi B when she collaborates with them. So let me know in the comments. Um, do you feel like these shots will land? Um, do you feel like Cardi B has the song of the summer? Because that's what she's saying. Um, she's been saying this all week. And should Nikki respond to these disses? Now, moving on to Sweetie and Doja, um, fans are speculating that Sweetie got another collaboration with Doja Cat um, because she had posted that she is filming for a new music video, okay? Um, and I guess the song is called Birthday. Now, this better be fake. Um, after attention... I don't think Doja Cat could really afford to do flop collaborations, okay? After Attention, because Attention technically already flopped. And I just feel like, okay, Best Friends was a decent song, but we don't need a Sweetie collaboration, okay? 
We don't want you to have to start saving duds now. Okay, no shade. But sweetie's like a, a D and F lister. You know, if you're going to come back with a collaboration, do something with like Kendrick Lamar or something like that. Um, You and Nikki. I don't understand why you would just go do a sweetie collaboration in 2023. Nobody cares about a fucking sweetie. Sweetie is flopping. Okay, she's an Instagram model. Like, get it together, okay? So that hopefully this is fake. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys already did a collaboration. Yeah, it did decent. But Sweetie's a flop now, selling 2K. Are we really saving Sweetie's career in 2023 when you could be collaborating with Kendrick Lamar and like Tyler, the creator, and, you know, like an Ice Spice and a Nikki? Like, we don't really need Sweetie right now. No shame. Now, moving on to Scratch Off. Scratch Off's manager Cortez Bryant you know speaks very highly of Nicki Minaj it was at a time when there wasn't really any real female rappers representing the game like Eve Mm -hmm. and Kim was uh acting and Foxy I think had lost her voice during the time Mm -hmm. so Nicki had a wide open lane so we saw there as opportunity for the young money side of things for the young money business side of things to sign her but the first thing we saw I can never forget um Shout out Fendi. He had these um, come up DVDs mm-hmm. up right. in the city. Y'all from New York. No, yeah, we know the come up DVDs. Uh, I remember watching right. that documentary. They said they, we purposely we put, put that her purposely purposely put, yeah. her name. He did that. He, it was the Wayne. It was yeah. Wayne was on the cover. Right. Right. Uh-huh. And he purposely put Nikki right, right behind the church. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so literally when, um, yeah, so when we she watched that. She was spitting like spitting like mm-hmm. a, like a like a like she, like she does and like she's done go hard and hard with guys. So her pen was something that you know we you know we saw that as being great. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Outside of all the other things and building her brand with the barbs and everything else she's done, you know she's definitely gonna go down in history as one of the greatest to ever do it. Period. Right. You know? Now Cortez used to managed Nicki Minaj for 10 years. Then she found out that he was a snake in the camp. Um, And um, he also used to manage Wayne. Now he manages Scratch Off. And I believe he also manages Lil Nas X. Okay. Two ops. So, you know, um, fans were like, oh, he spoke so highly. Of course he is. You know, Nicki made him money for 10 years. And he lost back. I high key believe that if Nikki wanted to hire him again, he would definitely say yes and kick Scratch off to the curb. Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion. Um, so allegedly Sexy Red is trying to work with Megan Thee Stallion. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Now that would just be WAP 2.0 to me. Okay, because what does Sexy Red talk about? Hoeing around. What does Megan Thee Stallion talk about? Hoeing around. So that just would be WAP 2.0. And the thing is, though, I feel like Megan can easily outwrap Sexy Red, too. Sexy Red ain't that talented, in my opinion. Um, she just has that um, personality, that persona that people like. Um, she reminds me of a Sukiana, okay? Um, but I feel like eventually, you know, that all fades. You know, Sukiana was supposedly supposed to be next up and look at her career, okay? Look at the city thoughts, you know, they talk about their coochie and being a gold digger and nobody cares. I feel like it's only so much coochie talk that somebody wants to hear. And so I feel like, you know, Megan and Sexy Red, you know, that might be a good collaboration, but at the end of the day, um, I feel like Megan could easily outwrap sexy red she would have to dumb it down even though she only talks about her coochie she stays on beat sexy red don't stay on beat and i feel like she's a little bit more witty with her bars than sexy red moving on to queen b and cardi b fans were saying yesterday um while cardi b was at the fendi um fashion show in paris that she was looking like queen b Okay, they said that she was in her Queen B era. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, I don't think it's necessary to insult Queen B like that. Okay, now maybe if Queen B 
had gotten several face injections and surgeries, you know, maybe her and Cardi B would look alike. But in my opinion, I believe that Queen B's face looks younger than Cardi B. Okay. And y'all can't say, oh, Cardi B looks young. We don't even know what really Cardi B looks like. She gotten several face surgeries. Okay. Got nose jobs, you know, face fillers. And I believe Queen B has done, you know, um, certain things to her body, but her face kind of has always remained the same. Um, Cardi B has drastically changed over the years. Okay, so I don't understand, you know, just because she put on a sparkly hourglass dress and has like a long blonde wig, now she look like Queen Bee. Y'all got to stop trolling. Y'all need to go outside and touch some grass. Okay, if you really believe she was looking like Queen Bee. Maybe if Queen Bee had 15 surgeries over the past 10 years. Maybe, but she hasn't. Moving on to Ice Spice. Now, she reveals in The Guardian um, that... She has found a confidant in Nicki Minaj. She said Nicki is her mentor. She said um, she'd be telling me to learn from her mistakes. I love to talk to her about things I can't talk about in public. Um, it just means so much to be able to have somebody like her. Okay. Now fans, you know, are speculating. Oh, they probably talking about Cardi B. But I honestly think that Nicki Minaj is probably giving her some genuine advice uh, because Sexy Red said the same thing. Sexy Red said that, you know, Nikki is like her big sister, uh, was giving her advice on things in the industry and don't do this and don't do that. But you know, they gonna run with the narrative. Oh, she talking about uh, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. You know, they gonna run with that narrative. And I really don't think Nikki's that messy. Okay, because I feel like if she was talking about Cardi B, and other female reciters and female rappers to other rappers that she's cool with is going to come off as messy. And I think Nikki knows that. But anyway, make sure you guys um, follow my Pop Obsession um, podcast. Link will be in the description. I will be posting a video tomorrow. I can't tell you when because, you know, the ops is watching, child. And then also make sure you guys... Um, you know, check out my Patreon. I got some really hot tea over there. Link will be in the description. Have a great day.